Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Hosts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your very own JavaScript Discord bot. This won't cover coding the bot, but will cover setting up with Discord and also setting it up with Pebble Host. So let's get into it. So first of all, you're going to have to make a Discord application. So go to the link in the description, and once you're here, click New Application. Then in here, we're going to make a name. All right, so now our bot is created. We're then going to go to the left to click Bot. And then where it says add bot, we're then going to click that. Then click yes, do it. And then there we go. Next, you're going to want to go to the left to OAuth2. And then once you're in here, back on the left again, you're going to go down to the URL generator. Then here, you're going to click bot. And depending on what your bot does, of course, pick the things you need. And I'm going to need applications.commands for mine. So we've now got those two. And then for bot permissions, I'm just going to make this really simple and give it administrator. And then at the generated URL, we're then going to copy this. So we'll then go to this link and it will now ask you to add it to a server. So go ahead and find the server you want to add it to and then click continue. Then authorize and then complete the capture. And now it has been authorized. So if we go to our Discord here, you can see that our JS bot has just joined the server and you can see it is a bot. And now we need to make sure that our Discord bot is actually connected. So once again, back here, we're then going to click bot. And then where it says token, it will either say view token or reset token. Click one of these. You may have to enter a through a code if you do have that enabled. And as you can see, I have just made this new token. Now this will only appear once. So save this in a safe place. Now go to edit your bot's files and then find where you keep your bot's token. Mine is in the .n file. So we're then gonna paste it in and then go ahead and save. And now we can go ahead and upload our bot. So on the Pebble Host panel, go down to pre-installs and make sure you do have node.js bot selected. You may see main file missing and this is because we haven't uploaded our files yet. So let's do that now. So now go to the file manager on the left. And then first of all, we're gonna delete a few things. We're gonna delete bot.js, package lock.json, and also package.json. We'll then delete them, and then there we go. Now you want to go ahead and drag your bot's files into the file manager. So we'll copy them in, and there we go. So now before we start up our bot, we now need to select our start file. So to do this, click back, and then on the main panel, we can see the start file by default is index.js. If your start file is anything different, then you can of course change that. So one thing we also need to do is make sure that our node packages are installed. So to do this, go over to the left to click on the node package manager. And then here, you'll be able to see any installed packages that you currently do have. And there's a few down here, which are commonly used. But of course, if your bot does depend on something like mine depends on .env, then where it says search here, if we were to search, dot env and press enter we can see there's a few results this is the one i want to get so we click on it then it takes us to the packages page where here as you can see i've installed this version but if you haven't installed any packages yet the remove button would instead be an install button okay so i've just removed it and as you can see we can now install it so make sure you do install all the packages that your bot does require and just before we start it you can see that currently the bot is offline and now if we go ahead and start the server we should be able to see the bot actually come online and there we go. As you can see, the bot has now come online. And this bot is just a simple ping pong bot. So if we go ahead and type ping in general, as you can see, the bot has replied to me with pong. So that is how you set up your JavaScript bot. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.